Hello, I'm going to show you how I automated my garage door open it, opener, existing one, with Z-Wave and a Vera 3 unit um, without having to modify the actual garage door, existing garage door opener itself or do anything fancy or expensive. So the first thing you need is some type of Z-Wave device. Um, for, exist, for illustrative purposes here, I have just a, a Z-Wave outlet uh, outdoor one that I just have plugged in and you can see it switches on and off. It's hooked up to my Vera light. Then the next thing you need is a relay, a 110 volt relay from Radio Shack. If you go into the relays and you get it, you'll there's only one that exists there. And what you do is basically on the inputs you wire up um, a, a, a outlet cord that you plug into the outlet for the input and the relay has two switches on it. I wired up to this one side of it and take those wires and you go up to your garage door opener and you basically run in parallel to wherever your bell wire is uh, because the bell wire basically uh, when you press the button it makes a contact and that triggers the garage door opener either to open, stop or close depending upon the current state it's in. The relay is doing nothing more than that when you initiate power to the outlet, which I will do via Z-Wave, um, the relay will switch on and it will close the contacts just like if I was pressing the power button or the bell button for the garage door opener. To illustrate that the, everything still works as is, I'm going to press this button and we will see the garage door still opens and closes regularly. Now, I went into Vera and configured this Z-Wave device, called it a garage door, and what we did is I configured it so that when you run a, I made a scene called garage door, and immediately it turns the outlet on, and then I added a delay, and three seconds later it turns the outlet off. That should simulate pressing the button, the, the existing button that's on the garage. So let's go with it here. Here's garage door. You heard it click, and the garage door is opening. Let's stop it. The garage door has stopped. And now let's shut it. The Z-Wave outlet, if you want to replace your outlet in your ceiling, I would suggest doing one of those. And then the, you know, is your normal Z-Wave device. And then the relay from Radio Shack is $10. The reason why I like this setup is it reuses, the parts are reusable for whatever else you want. Um, you cannot control whether you know whether the garage door is open or closed. Um, you can wire up window sensors and other things. However, what I'm going to do is I want a, a IP camera webcam outside pointing at the garage anyway. So my thinking is I will just use that to know whether the garage door is open or closed. So I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, let me know.